here are the players who will demonstrate the basic skills of football. Sean Purcell of Galway, Frank Stockwell of Galway, Kevin Hefferdon of Dublin, Kevin Behan of Loud, Sean O'Neill of Down, Leo Murphy of Down, and Greg Hughes of Offaly. <laughs> Lifting the ball with a foot is an essential skill. Good players make it look easy, but it requires a certain method. The feet in position, the body bent, eyes on the ball. The left foot slightly ahead of the ball, the right coming in, the hands ready to grasp the ball. There's no finer sight than a man catching the ball in the air. This method is very safe, especially in front of goal. It's essential to grip the ball tightly. Note the hands under and over the ball. The ball shouldn't bounce on the chest. Leo Murphy shows how the ball should be tightly gripped. The approach with the hands ready, the eyes on the ball. The jump and a firm catch on the chest. A great feature of the game, and of good players, is the high catch, essential for forwards, backs, and especially midfielders. Eyes on the ball, feet positioned for the jump, and taking the ball high. Greg Hughes stretches his arms as high as possible. The position of the hands when the ball is caught and the right way to lower it. The approach with the feet preparing to jump, the hands at the ready. He rises and takes it high. A tight grip on the ball and he takes a defensive stance. On hand passing has been changed many times. For years, this was the only method allowed, and it was useful not just for passing. Goals and points could be scored with the fist in this way. An accurate pass from Stockwell to Purcell. Note how the arm follows through after hitting the ball. The fist is tightly closed but controlled. The ball in the palm, the fist tight but flexible. Note the point of impact. Here is a method of attack. Many players have been injured due to incorrect blocking. Defenders need the skill to break up attacks and forwards to prevent the ball from being cleared. The player comes in from the side. Sean O'Neill blocks the ball just as it leaves the boot. Both arms are outstretched, the head down, eyes on the ball. The limbs and upper body smother the force of the ball. He follows through after the block.
Kevin Heffernan fools defenders with his sidestep. His aim is to send defenders the wrong way. He shows the ball to the defender, sends him the wrong way, and jumps aside. This is where he wrong foots the defender. Then he hops the ball and sidesteps, while the defender goes the wrong way. He has complete control of the ball throughout the move. crowd cheers Kevin Musson on a solo run. This is another trademark of football, and one that is particularly attractive to young players. It is basically an attacking move, and few did it as well as Frank Stockwell. Stockwell demonstrates the solo run. He beats two men and scores. The same move in slow motion. He has complete control of the ball, and that allows him to move his body, and especially his legs, without losing that control. Only constant practice leads to mastery. A light kick with the instep puts a spin on the ball. Note the ball is struck gently and moves in towards the hands. The head and shoulders are bent over the ball. And with a long kick out is a great advantage to any team. It takes strength and knowledge to do it properly. Greg Hughes belts the ball out to midfield. He strikes the ball with the instep and follows through completely. The left foot beside the ball, the top of the boot in under it, but it's the instep that meets the ball. The eyes are fixed on it. The right foot is poised before the left hits the ground. The body leans back to add length to the kick. The eyes are on the ball. The right foot follows through. There's no better way to break up an attack than to send a long ball out to midfield. It's essential for defenders to master the long kick from the hands. Leo Murphy's eyes are fixed on the ball when he kicks. The ball is dropped onto the kicking foot. The right foot is poised before the left hits the ground. The ball is kicked very close to the ground, the eyes fixed on it. The head is still down during the follow through. For every goal such as these, You'll see forwards missing many chances through bad shooting. Accuracy from the hands is essential for forwards. An accurate shot from Kevin Behan. The ball travels low over the ground. A close-up of the point of impact on the instep. 
the ball is struck very close to the ground. The ball is dropped on the kicking side, the right foot poised before the left hits the ground. The strike is very close to the ground with the knee above the ball to keep it low. The right foot follows through. Many players would be happy to put a 50-yard free into the square, but Kevin Behan sends it over the bar. He runs in at an angle and kicks with full force, but note how controlled he is. The right foot is poised, with the left beside the ball, but not quite on the ground yet. The body leans back to add distance to the kick, the eyes on the ball. He follows through so strongly that his feet leave the ground. His head is still down. There's a different technique for close-in freeze. Sean Purcell runs in parallel to the goal line. He gets smoothly under the ball to make it rise, essential so close to the goal. The approach is parallel to the goal, the left foot over the line. The instep is in under the ball. The left foot is somewhat away from the ball to let the right foot in under it. The body turns towards the goal and the foot scoops the ball up. It's clear from the angle of the foot that the ball was swept upwards. Penalty should result in a goal, no matter how good the goalkeeper. And these ones did. The corner of the goal should be the target. A straight approach to the ball. A different technique here. The instep is right down behind the ball. The head bent over the ball, the eyes fixed on it. Unlike distance kicking, the left foot is already on the ground when the right foot is poised. The whole body is over the ball to drive it low and hard. He follows through in the direction of the ball. Of course, the mastery of football skills comes only from constant practice.